Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how I made my she tiara. I provided a free printable file that you can find in the description below. It includes two sizes of wing patterns and two bands, one just slightly enlarged. Today I'll be using the larger wing and the smaller band, but it's whatever you prefer. Keep your pattern, you'll need it again later. I took my pattern pieces and traced them onto 5mm craft foam that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I made sure both wings were the same and flipped them so they mirrored each other. Taking my wing pattern piece, I cut along its lines. I used it to then trace the lines onto the foam that I would later score with my knife. Make sure not to cut all the way through. Once I had scored my lines, I used the heat gun to open up the gaps. At this point, I wanted to soften the edges of the bands and the wings. Using a grinding stone on my rotary tool, I carefully beveled the edges of the foam. I didn't take much off, and this is an optional step. You could even use an X-Acto blade to bevel the sides.
Afterwards, I used the heat gun and all the pieces to get rid of the fuzzies that the rotary tool left behind. I then began to shape them. I curled the wings in just a bit, but it's not necessary. It's time to glue. You can use a hot glue gun, super glue, or contact cement. I am using contact cement since I know it will give me the strongest bond. I apply a coat to each wing and to the end of the band. I wait until the glue becomes tacky and then push them together. Before I seal my foam, I am using a small acrylic rod to push a hole into the center. This will later hold my gem. You can find plastic and acrylic rods all over the internet, or you could use a coffee straw, a plastic balloon stick, or even stir sticks. I took my project to a well-ventilated area and began to spray on coats of Plasti Dip. You can choose to use Mod Podge or wood glue or even just stop at heat sealing it. Once the Plasti Dip dried, I began to lay on coats of paint. 
you'll notice that the foam starts to lose some of its shape. After my final gold paint coat, I hung up the tiara so it dried in the right shape, just to make sure. Once the paint is dry, I took my plastic cylinder and attached a red oval to it. You can use foam or anything that's lightweight. I then placed it into the hole on the tiara that I had created earlier. Later on, I secured it with a bit of super glue. There's a couple ways you can attach the tiara. For this, I am using two comb clips commonly found in wigs. You can also use round elastic. Create holes in each wing and tie it off. If you use the elastic method, I suggest making the holes before you paint. Taking the hot glue gun, I hold the comb clips into place and secure them to the insides of both wing pieces. Once those are attached, you are ready to transform into an 8 foot tall buff princess. If you'd like to see more tutorials and free patterns, please consider leaving a like, hit that subscribe button, or stop by my Etsy store where I sell cosplay accessories. Thanks for watching.